What's going on, Turf Team? Rock Combo here, bringing you some ranked salary cap against Bronco. Uh, this guy is pretty well known. It's a, a very good competitor. So uh, these are the type of games I've been playing a lot of ranked salary cap, like I've told y'all. These are the games I like to bring you because there's a really big back and forth chess match, and hopefully I'll be able to articulate that and explain it to you what's kind of going on. So here we are on the first drive. I'm the Vikings. He has the the Jets uniforms. So I'm blocking the running back to the right. Third and 18, I had to actually take a delay of game, so it was pretty much third and not manageable, especially when he runs that crash blitz. So I try to do my best to block it on that third down play, just to get it fourth and manageable, which I did. Fourth down, I thought I had my guy open, but the safety made a good break on the ball. You know, fourth and 10 is, is definitely difficult to, to pick up in this game, so I just got to lock up on D. I at least got a couple first downs and cross midfield. As you can see, second down and 10. Did a really nice job hitting the swap button. Because if you, if you hit Y right there, the you just get like this crappy like kind of diving animation. And it doesn't do anything. The receiver catches it. So here we are, third and 10. He did a good job. I think right there, he um, if, I, if I saw correctly, he motioned over his running back to the left. Which means that's going to be a man coverage look. And that, that, that little out route is going to be difficult to stop on, on man coverage. So fourth and 10, as you can see. Uh, nice little dot. So he's he's made some good completions to move the chains, and he's trying to run the ball a little bit, which you can run the ball now, especially with the late latest patch. I feel like the running game is getting a little bit better again. And right here, I manned up the safety. He did have a little bit of an overthrow, and so Night Train was able to pick him off. It looks like he's running the like the Tampa two, uh, the three four over three three four odd. So blocked that well. And I thought that my guy was going to be open, but he was not. But <laughs> once again, another overthrow slash he was getting screamed at, and I was able to pick it off. So that's two mistakes on his part. And I'm coming out with a, uh, a screen pass. I've ran, I've ran like strong power a couple times on him, so I came out with a screen pass. Against the defense he was running, I thought that would be a very effective play, and it was. So we get another first down, decide to run the rock again. And, man, Reese is my new running back. Got rid of Montgomery, and he's been doing some good work. He doesn't really break that many tackles, but he can catch really well. And, ah, just barely. That was a hot one. Just got that in. His flat zone started running back, which that 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 play can get picked off from time to time. Look at that. <laughs> We're fitting in dimes over here. First and goal at the five-yard line, where it's very difficult to score besides high-pointing balls. It can be hell. Right here, he, he did a really good job. I didn't want to risk throwing a high point and it getting picked or, like, batted picked. So, third and goal. I decided to spread him out a little bit, do the verts. You know, it's a big deal last year. It's still effective. And hopefully just get a one-on-one -on -one situation as, as opposed to throwing it kind of in the middle of the field. And it paid off. Got a touchdown to go up 7-0. So, I got the ball first. This is a big drive for him. If he can score, he gets a ball second to start the second half. So, as you can see, he can tell I'm going to be trying to send the blitz from the right side, so he flips the play. I probably He's probably going to be blocking his tight end, which he, he I believe that's what he was doing a lot of time, to try to block the blitz. Uh, you can see some of my adjustments here, manning up. Uh, manning up. I manned up the tight end because I want to make sure to take away that quick drag route. As you can see, my blitz still came in. Now Bronco is in the tight formation, that, that PA cross play, which is really tough. He did a good job of picking up the blitz. Whenever he's in this uh, this tight formation, though, I, I really want to get into the blitz right here. Boom! There we go. You can't get get that cross play off, man, because you can't. It's very difficult to block that blitz. So uh, I made a good adjustment there. Back and bunch. I'm sending the heat, sending the goons, sending six. As you can see, there's a lot wide open, but I'm just trying to get there. He blocks his running back and tight end. Does a good job picking up the blitz, and right there, I swear that should have been picked off. At least it was incomplete. Third and ten. Big down here. Just playing some man coverage, hoping he's blocking. If he's blocking the running back and the tight end, okay, he blocked his tight end. Uh, the running back went out on a route, but with only like three people on routes, uh, I think he, he had four there. There really isn't too much to, to go to because I got so many people in coverage. But he completes the fourth down conversion. As you can see, nothing is really open. Like, I'll give you that drag. I mean, that drag almost got picked off. So he got four yards there, second, six, motion out, and the motion slant or motion drag right there. It was open, but so was the flat route. So good job, third and two, third and manageable. And I'm able to get off my block right there and uh, get a nice shoestring tackle to make it fourth and five. 
right down at 30 seconds left till halftime. Big play here, biggest play of the game so far. And let's see what, what we can do here. I'm, I'm just playing some coverage, have some flat zones out there, take away the quick pass, which I did. And look at that break on the ball. Really good job by Night Train right there, breaking up that, that uh, corner out. Looked like he ran bench there. My... Uh, he was trying to throw to the, the flat, but the flat my, my uh, flat zone took away that route, even though his man uh, beat the man-to-man -man defense. And, I mean, it was a good read by him, but my defense decided to stand up there. So I'm um, just taking it into half. He started calling timeout, so I just kneeled it out. Up 7-0, feeling really good on defense. And I haven't really been able to play too much on offense. I just got to lock up. Up 7-0. To zero, I'm showing blitz, but I'm I'm just doing coverage defense. And look, I took away his 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 motion slant, manned him up perfectly. But then it looks like he was running like a PA seam play, and he he did a smart route out route. So good play on him. And this to me is the best play he's had so far. He did a very nice job. You can see. Let me show it again. He streaked his running back, which I did not expect. His running back, his running back has either been blocking. Or on like a little baby out or hitch. And I have really good flat zones and stuff taking away those routes. So he did a really good job there of mixing it up and surprised me with that running back streak route. Second and two. Hits me in the flat. Good job. But here I am. The red zone. First and goal. I've got to get a stop here. Fumble. Let's go. Sean T Linebacker Sean Taylor picks it up. And he's going to go to the crib. Ain't nobody catching him. So hot one just flying in. And a sack fumble just destroyed his momentum. So... The red zone is, is what we call the dead zone these days for, for my boy Bronco here. So we're able to get another sack here, up 14-0. He's pretty much on lock. I'm making him fight for every yard. He's making some good adjustments to get some yardage. As you can see, whew, he had two people over there. So uh, right when I start bragging on my defense, he just dots it up really nicely. Once again, hits me in the flat. You're going to hit me in the flat a couple times. You're not going to, you, you know, you're not going to beat me hitting, hitting me in the flat. So I'll, I'll give you that every once in a while, and then I'll take it away. So, he ran He ran some base. Uh, didn't really get any yards. Second and 11. I manned up the correct guy. I mean, he, he's going to get some separation on that motion slant, motion drag, whatever he's trying to do there. It's it, At that route, if you don't manually guard it, as you can see, it can be hell to stop. I know Skimbo just loves running Z, uh, Z spot from, from Bunch and motioning out, and he likes to do it, all, you know, delayed, which he did all Madden Bowl. So, uh, you know, Dub is gonna be prepared for that, but it, it's hell if you don't if you don't manually guard that route, it can be complete hell to stop. First and ten, he gets a he gets a lucky catch there. He's back in the red zone, and look at this, played it perfect. I knew what he was trying to do, and you know, I I played it perfect. Second down, I played it pretty good again. I made sure there was two people on that route. Third and ten, I'm going to bait the short middle, and then boom, shoot back up, and I did a really good job. Three straight downs, I feel like, good job. So here it is, fourth and goal. If I can get this stop here, he's motion over the guy. I'm worried about, right now, him doing a C route to the left side, which looks like that's what he was going for. And I did a really good job making some adjustments. And he's going to run, try to get the first down, but Night Train Lane is just too fast, does a really good job of recovering. And uh, at this point, I'm I'm up 14-0. I'm making him call his timeout, so I just ran the ball three straight times, so I, t I edited that out. And really just locking up. Because he has to score two touchdowns and recover an onside kick at this point. So I just didn't want to take any chances. So I'm feeling really good. Completes the C route. Good job by, by Bronco there. He's back in the red zone. He's 0 for in the red zone. Let's see what we can do here. He probably could have taken two, two field goals. And it would be 14-6. to six And dot right to my man. My secondary, Mel Blunt and Night Train Lane were the stars of this evening. They just destroyed it. So... Good game to Bronco. He's going to quit out here because I'm just going to kneel it out. And 114-0, really my red zone defense is really what, what stood strong. I didn't really have to do too much in offense, just a couple drives. But these are the type of games that I want to be able to show to y'all. And I'm glad I've been playing some, some ranked salary cap. And hopefully we can bring some more to y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below if this is the type of gameplay you like to see. And we'll see you on the sticks.